Okay, so we have the expression 2 plus ax all to the power of 4 times 5 minus ax to the power of 1. Now, we don't have to write the 1 there, but that's just to remind us that we don't need to use the binomial expansion theorem to simplify 5 minus ax. Now, the goal of this question is to solve for a. A is a constant. Now, we can solve for A because they have given us the coefficient of x cubed when these two brackets simplify. So, the coefficient of x cubed is 432. When we multiply out 2 plus ax to the power of 4 times 5 minus ax. Now, there are actually two ways to get x cubed from the binomial expansion. One way is x cubed times some constant and the other way is to get x squared and multiply it by x. Now that x squared can come from 2 plus ax to the power of 4 and the x is going to come from the negative ax in 5 minus ax. So we want to find the coefficient of x cubed and x squared from 2 plus ax to the power of 4. So using our binomial theorem, which is the sum of n choose k times, you know, p to the power of k times q to the power of n minus k is like our general formula for it. And we start from zero. But we're only concerned with the coefficients of x squared and x cubed. So we don't have to do the whole expansion. So the coefficient of x cubed will be 4 choose 3 times 2 to the power of 1 times ax to the power of 3 and this will simplify down to 4 times 2 times a cubed times x cubed now this is just our n choose k notation for combinations you can also call this ncr if you want to but I'll be using this notation throughout the video. We have, so to find the coefficient of x squared, we need to take 4 choose 2 times 2 squared times ax squared, which is equal to 6 times 4 times a squared times x squared. Now we need, we need to form an equation with 432x cubed on the right side and the sum of 4 times 2 times a cubed x cubed times 5 because 5 is the constant and we need to multiply 6 times 4 times a squared x squared by negative ax to get the x cubed. Okay, so let's make the equation 8a cubed x cubed times 5 plus 24 times a squared x squared times negative ax equals 432x cubed. Now 8 times 5 equals 40, so we'll write 40a squared x cubed plus, now instead of a plus we're going to write a minus sign because negative 1 times 24 equals negative 24 we're going to multiply 
a by a squared which will give us a cubed and x by x squared which will give us x cubed and this all equals to 432x cubed as well so over here we have like terms we have a cubed x cubed and a cubed x cubed over here so we can just add 40 to negative 24 to combine the like terms together so let's do that 40 minus 24 is 16 so on the left hand side I'm going to get 16 a cubed times x cubed equals 432 x cubed now I can divide both sides by 16 to give us 1 on the left side and 27 on the right side so we get a cubed times x cubed equals 27 x cubed but we have x cubed on both sides so we can divide both sides by x cubed and we're left with a cubed equals 27 27 can be rewritten as 3 cubed and so we simply have a equals 3 because 3 is a odd power we don't need to mess with plus or minus signs and that's how we solve this A-level question.